Tammy, if we keep eating these, our hearts won't be the only thing getting bigger, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I know what you mean. These things are definitely going to make the heart in our chest grow, uh, but it will definitely make the hips and inches grow too. <laughs> and I love how cute they are. Look at them. Yes, it makes me think that Valentine's Day must be right around the corner. Honestly, it must be. I mean, these are Valentine's themed snack cakes. So that makes me wonder, if we know how to grow our waist with these little Debbie cakes, then how are we gonna grow in love in our hearts this season? Well, it's according to which heart you're asking me about. Because this little Debbie can definitely help us grow our heart and our chest, but we can also grow with our heart in our mind. Pause. Stop right there. Did you just say the heart in my mind? I did. You have a heart in your mind. What does that even mean? Dr. Lori is going to teach us more about that. Okay. And when we start to read scriptures and address scriptures and we, we ask Jesus to open the eyes of our heart, where is our heart? Well, our heart is right here in our chest and it's actually an organ, just like our brain, but the heart is designed to pump blood and to circulate oxygen throughout our body. And so we often associate our heart with feelings and this gut feeling so to speak, but actually our heart, when we're thinking about our emotions and our imagination, do you remember where that was? That's in the middle part of your brain. And so when we experience Jesus, we're experiencing him through our brain. And when we have an intellectual knowledge of Jesus and we memorize the scriptures, that's the top part of our brain. But when we say we see him, or we imagine him, or we have these feelings, then that's the middle part of our brain. And a lot of time we study the scriptures and we have a, an active intellectual part of our brain. We have a head knowledge, but we don't have a heart knowledge. And so that's actually the top part of our brain and the middle part of our brain. And so that's really worth making note of that as we've differentiated the mind from the brain, there's also a differentiation between the heart, open the eyes of my heart. We're actually asking him to open the eyes of our imagination and our middle brain so that we will experience him as well as intellectually knowing about him. Oh, that makes way more sense now. So then as we step into this season, then can you give us some tips and tricks on how to keep our brain, heart healthy? Yes, I can. We want to take the information that Dr. Lori taught us and we want to put it into practice. One of the ways that we can do that is actually by using curiosity. When we're reading the scripture, we can fall more in love with Jesus in the middle of our brain by being curious, asking ourselves questions like, what did it sound like when Jesus was standing at the Sea of Galilee? What did it feel like to actually eat the bread that Jesus broke and gave out? What did it feel like on our skin to feel the wind or to hear the sounds? So we want to challenge you this February to fall more in love with Jesus by using the heart in the middle of your brain, reading the scriptures, being curious, and falling more in love with Jesus. Wow, that's so good. All I have to say to that is to heart health.